Howdy folks, uh, Troy with V-Twins, the V8s. I just wanted to come on and do a short segment on how to set your idle air control on your Holly Sniper system. This seems to be a big problem. I know when I first did my first one, there was a lot of different information on how to do it. Some guys wanted you to take the air cleaner off, put a piece of tape over the air inlet for the IAC, all these different things. Um, so over a process of time, I kind of learned uh, a new way of doing it, a tuner named by the name of Nick Langdon. He showed me how to do this, and it's a very simple way. It just basically is, uh, you just kind of move the, the throttle up beyond the capability of it, and then you turn it back down and let the idle air control motor come into where it needs to be. Now this if you look at your handheld, is going to be a percentage of between 8 and 12. That's what they want it to be at. Um, so that's what you're going to be shooting for. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this and how to do this in a very simple way. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we've got everything all set. We know we have no leaks. Our our computer's all set up, our handhelds, everything's all loaded up, our um, fuel pump is firing off, we have fuel pressure, we're ready to start the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this camera run, and I'm going to get the handheld camera and be inside the vehicle, and we're going to start it, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like on the handheld display inside the vehicle, as well as the engine. We'll allow the engine to warm up, and then we'll work on setting the idle air control. Okay, so now here's my handheld. It's telling me everything about the vehicle. So, it's running kind of rich because it's cold, and we're just going to let it warm up. This yellow right here is our coolant temperature. This is our idle air control position. Now when it's warm, we're gonna want that between eight and 12. We're gonna let the truck warm up right now and uh, we'll let it build up some heat. I can't make any adjustments on that until it gets up to about 100, or well, over 160. I actually like to have it about 170 just to make sure that I'm up above that, uh, that threshold. Okay, so now I've got the engine up to temperature. I gave you a close-up in on what the handheld looks like. My idle air control is too high. So to adjust the idle air control, we're going to start by using the screw on the throttle plate. So this screw right here controls the throttle bl blades. I can say that better. The throttle blades, just like the idle on a car. Okay, except for you don't want to use this to actually set your idle. The idle needs to be controlled by the computer. Okay, so you saw what I had going on well, on the handheld. Our IAC was way up in the 29 or so. Now it's warm at an idle. It should be around 8 to 12. So I'm going to show you how to adjust the, this, the, the IAC to the proper setting, which is between 8 and 12. Uh, very, an, a very easy way to do it. And Okay, so now the purpose of the idle air control is to control your idle via the computer, not by this screw on the side like you would with a carburetor. So the idea is, is that your throttle blades are closed and the motor is up in the 8 to 12 range. 
and that's what's holding your idle open. That allows the computer control of your idle. It could lower it a little bit if it had to. It can raise it quite a bit if it, if it needs to. Whether it's, you know, you got a load on it, you got it in gear and you've got an automatic with a tight convert or something like that or air conditioning. It will allow that, that idle air control motor to open those butterflies and add a little fuel and keep you at a nice steady idle. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the screw that uh, looks like your idle screw on the carburetor, we're going to make at least one full turn in, okay? Then we're going to start the vehicle. It's going to rev up and it's going to be revving kind of high. What you'll see on the handheld is the idle air control should be at zero. So it's not doing anything. It's as low as it can get. Once we're there, we're going to start taking, we're going to take our screwdriver and we're going to turn the screw outwards. We're going to back it off like lowering the idle. And we're going to lower it about a quarter of a turn, then another quarter of a turn. And then we're going to keep watching what we get going on. Once you turn it a couple of times, you're going to want to touch the throttle. Maybe once just to get it off idle. And then let it recover and fall back down. Just to kind of, it settles itself. Then you're going to back it off a couple more times and you're going to touch the throttle again. You're going to continue to do this until on the handheld it shows, I like to shoot for 8. They say 8 to 12. I like 8. That gives me plenty of, of the upside, which is more than you need than the downside. So you're going to continually turn that out until you get to that magic 8 to 12. Once you're there, then you can crack the throttle and let it come down and watch it settle. It should settle back down in that 8 to 12 range. Okay. If it doesn't, then you're going to have to come back and do the same process over again. Sometimes it takes a couple of times. Um, this, is, this one's been done a few times, so it, it should go pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take my screwdriver, I'm going to put full, a full turn on it, I'm going to start the vehicle up, and we're going to start this adjusting process and uh, you'll be able to watch it on the handheld will show you what I'm seeing on the screen and then you'll see me actually doing it. Okay so I have my screwdriver I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put a turn on this. I'm gonna crank it right up. Now when I start it it's gonna be revving kinda high we're gonna watch the IAC we're going to back it off and we're going to feather the gas, the throttle a couple of times and we're going to watch that drop down.
Now I should be exactly where I am. Now every time you shut the key off and turn it back on, it resets the idle air control motor to zero. Okay, then once it starts, it does its thing. So what should happen now is I should be able to start this and let it get settled down and it should be right in our range, the 8 to 12 range. It doesn't usually stay at a hard number, it kind of moves around because it's maintaining, uh, it's trying to maintain the idle at a, an exacting point in, in uh, the adjustment. Okay, so hopefully you could see in my handheld shot um, what, the, what the adjustment is doing. Now, at the end of the day, I'm probably just a whisker high I'm gonna run it and I, you know when it finally settles down um, it's in the garage it's kind of hot um, I just figure you know I'm at like 11 12 once it settles down I'm pretty happy with that I'm gonna leave that alone I'm gonna drive it see how it behaves and if it's happy then I'll be happy but the 8 to 12 range is what you're shooting for uh, I would err on the side of uh, you know maybe one or two percent not much more than that um, as long as it's running right and it's happy then you should be happy so when you put it in gear or you, and you get on and off the throttle it, as long as it recovers and it's not doing anything crazy you should be in pretty good shape so uh, that pretty much sums up the, uh, the idle air adjustment and if you have any questions feel free to leave me a message down below and I'll respond but that I found is the easiest way to do it so uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm Troy Kane with vtwins to v8s.com. You can find me on Facebook, vtwins to v8s.com, on the web as well, or on my YouTube channel, Troy Kane vtwins to v8s. And enjoy your day and good luck on your project.